everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week I am featuring the Simply Xenia bundle on my blog. This is an online exclusive product. You won't find it in any catalogs. It's available online only. Um, and there's lots of pieces that go with it. You have the stamps and dies. You have the Xenia embossing folder, which we're also going to use. And there's some gorgeous designer series paper. I'm not using the paper on this card, but I do have other projects using the paper. If you're looking for ideas for those, make sure you jump back and uh, jump back to my blog using the link here on YouTube to find those. All right, so in this bundle, you can make zinnias two ways. You can stamp them or you can paper piece them. And I love to paper piece. That's when you take pieces of different colored cardstock, um, put them together to make your image. And we're gonna make this card that has lots of pieces. Now I've done all the cutting ahead of time because we're gonna need lots of pieces, but I wanna show you um, which dies that I've used and give you a couple of tips. One tip that I have is to use a dryer sheet. Yes, from the dryer. Um, my favorites are from Dollar Tree. You put the dryer sheet down on your base, on your cutting platform base. Then you put your cardstock and then you put your dies. And the um, dryer sheet is a little bit sticky and it's gonna hold that paper in place. So when you run it through, you can just pop your dies off and it'll hold all those pieces in place until you're ready to take them off and then you can peel them off. Um, that's one thing that you can try um, if you're finding that your, your paper is sticking in your dies as you cut them. The other tip that I have for you is to use adhesive sheets. They turn your paper into stickers. I didn't do that here, I'm just gonna use glue, but if you're um, like me, a little bit messy with the glue, that is one option that you can do as well. All right, so I have cut out, let's see, a bunch of leaves, garden green, and uh, this is granny apple green, using just this leaf die right here. I've cut out three of these. Um, these are the little bud holders. I mean, I guess that's what you would call them, see right here, the little buds. Now the little buds look like this, and I believe, that I have cut out three sets of the buds and um, we're doing melon mambo, let's see, where's my last one? Melon mambo and pumpkin pie. And one is just a little bit bigger than the other. So what I'm gonna do is take the bigger one and put it in the back and add just a tiny dot of glue. Whoops, stay there, stay there. And that's probably too much glue right there. This is probably the amount of glue you need. Not that, that's pretty big. All right, and then just stick that right on top like that. Gives you kind of a little bit of a two-dimensional look right there, okay? And so that those are those dies right there. Now for our big flowers, I have cut out the larger shape, the background shape from Cherry Cobbler. And then you have these two flowers. And I don't know if there is a right or a wrong way to layer them. I have found this one that has kind of that little short pointy leaf right there is, uh, goes on the top, I think, maybe not, um, but that's just how I have found that it works the best. So use your glue and just set your um, flowers on top. You wanna offset that one right there. And then this little ring of flowers, is this one right here, and I have cut that from Daffodil Delight. All right, and we're just gonna put a teeny tiny amount of glue, and we're gonna put that right in the middle like that. Okay, all right, let's do this one again. Let's see, make sure my flowers are sticking down. We'll put that right there. And then this one, kind of offset like that. A little bit of glue, whoops, again, a little bit of glue, and we'll set that right there. All right, now your take your pick tool is really helpful picking these pieces up. So if you don't have a take your pick tool yet, I recommend that you get one. They're so good. It has this little putty end and it helps to pick things up. All right, so what are we gonna layer all of this on? I have a basic white postage rectangle. And when I started 
making mine, I just kind of was like, let's see where this goes. So I'm gonna take a stem and I'm gonna adhere it right there. And I'm gonna take another stem and I'm gonna kind of do it offset like that, kind of going out to the right. All right, and then I'm gonna get some dimensionals. The thing about our adhesive is that you've got a few seconds to play with it, you know, if you wanna move it around. You can peel the adhesive off. These two adhes adhesives are, are good for that. Let's see. Hmm, I think I like it like that. We'll put that kind of down further like that. All right, now let's adhere our little buds. I like the little buds. I think they're my favorite part, the smaller budding flowers. Now notice I've got these kind of hanging off the edge. We're gonna trim those. All right, let's put these. We'll do one in um, Melon Mambo. And what I'm gonna do actually is peel that up and stick that underneath like that. It looks a little more realistic. And we'll do the same thing. I think this one's poking up a little bit. There we go. All right, now let's take our other one and Stick that coming out up here. And we'll put a little bit of glue right there. And adhere those together. Now, if you're wondering colors, maybe this isn't your favorite color palette, just Google Zinnias and you will find that they come in like every color you could possibly think of. So definitely play around with the colors. Use colors that you like. All right, let's trim these off down here. Just make them even with the bottom of your postage rectangle. And then I'm just gonna start sticking leaves in. The one thing you've gotta remember is that you don't want your leaves to poke out further than the edge of your card. So be cognizant of that and it might be a good idea to go ahead and put this on the card before you glue on your leaves so that you can see exactly how far out they need to go. But I don't think there's any right or wrong way to do your leaves. Come on. Oh, my glue's like, I'm done, I'm tired. And I'm just kind of layering them you might even sometimes need to cut the leaf like um if it won't poke in enough because of your dimensionals you can cut it like that and stick them in i may need to do that to those right there because they might be over the edge of the card if you're if your leaves are over the edge of the card then it's not going to stick it's not going to fit into your envelope all right that's so fun now, there is an embellishment pack that goes with the Zinnias. It's these sparkly adhesive back sequins. Problem is they were so popular, they've sold out. They'll be back, but right now, when I'm making this video, they are on what we call unorderable status. We have other, we have a lot of sequins. Um, one of the, the, when I was looking, one of the ones I think that would go really well are our adhesive discs. I think that they would uh, be a good um, match with this set. So if you need some, if you don't wanna wait for these to come back in stock, that would be a good alternative. All right, now let's do the rest of our card. We'll set this up here to dry. And we're gonna use that embossing folder on our garden green card base. And when you use one of our 3D embossing folders, you've got to take all the plates off, okay? All three. And I'm going to put this in here just to the edge. Let's see. I'm going to do it like this. See how there's a line right here that'll help you line up your card? And I'm going to make sure the fold of my card... Actually, I need to do it this way, don't I? So my flowers aren't upside down. And I'm going to go up to the fold of my card. And I'm going to line up the edge. Well... Let's get it perfect. 
like that. Okay, now I'm gonna set that in there. Then you take plate four and run that through. All right, and then we've got that beautiful texture on the front. Now I have also decided to add in a vellum, a layer of vellum. So it kind of softens things up a little bit before you put your um, flower layer on. And I'm gonna do dimensionals. We won't be able to see these dimensionals because they're gonna be covered up by our postage rectangle. So go ahead and put that there and then take four more dimensionals and just layer them right on top of those. I've got a backing that wants to hang around. Over here, let's take care of that with our take your pick tool. I mean, look, your take your pick tool can do all kinds of things for you. All right, and then we'll put that right there. Now, I was trying to think, I wanted to put some words on this card, but I didn't want to take away from this beautiful design. So what I decided to do was, I'm gonna take a piece of basic white, four by five and a fourth, I'm gonna put that on the inside. And then I've got a piece of, here's that beautiful paper. I think I'm actually gonna use the this side right here. And we'll put that down the center, or down the, the left side. And then I have cut out a um, nested essential hexagon. This is the second smallest. And I'm gonna stamp words fail to express my gratitude in our melon mambo. And we're gonna put, let's put it down here. We're gonna put it on with dimensionals. You can use dimensionals on the inside of your card. No problem. There we go. And you can even add a few more sequins around if you want. Like that. All right, there you go. A beautiful paper pieced card that uses those dies. Um, I have other I'm gonna have other videos that show you how to use the stamps and even a seed holder that shows you how to use the, um, I've got my cards a little bit crooked down here, I need to fix it, that shows you how to use um, the, the flowers as well to make a, a cute little seed card. All right, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Let me know if you have questions and happy stamping. Bye-bye.